Okay. See, where are we? There, right there. That is the Lake Suki. If we were there, we would all have drowned. <laughs> we had the button. No, no, no. I think we're off to the right. Or off to the left. Wait, where's north? Everything's rotated 90 degrees. This map's completely wackadoodle. I can't find. Oh. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sores and boils? That's right. Sores and boils. Yes, indeed. I'd kill to have that name, quite frankly. You're a lucky woman. How? Sores and Boils Alley is one of the most historical places in all Stars Hollow. In the 18th century, if you had a sore or a boil, you came to Stars Hollow to have it lanced yeah, but... to the very site of your establishment. Word is they also had a leper colony in your garage. Trying to verify that. If we do, you get a plaque. OK, Taylor, look. Truth is, this town wouldn't be here without your street. Sores and boils may seem minor to us now as we sit here with our sea breeze astringent and our ponds cold cream, but time was they were the scourge with no cure. And where was that noble work done? Where were the sick cured and the suffering put at ease? I'll tell you where, on Sores and Boils Alley. In fact, I even have a valuable collection of antique lances. Yours for the asking. As a loner, of course, the dragonfly can uh, display them in the lobby, assuming you're bonded. Look, the historical thing, it's swell. The boils and sores and lepers and lances, great stuff. If you're running a hospice in the 18th century, but I'm running an inn in the 21st. And? People come here for a beautiful, nice, romantic time. And part of what I slightly overcharge them for is the ambiance. Is there a point here? The point is that I don't want to have to go around advertising, come to Historic Stars Hollow. It's not as gross as it sounds. I must say, I'm very surprised at this negativity. You were so supportive at the meeting. What happened? Uh, fight with Luke? Look, Taylor, I'm trying to be very zen about this, but this name is just not going to work for me. Well, I'm not really sure what to do about this. We could just keep our old street name. No harm, no foul, no Lorelei pulling her hair out. No. The whole town's changing. That won't work at all. But I will think about your situation and try to come up with alternatives. Great. And I'll think about it, too. And together, I'm sure, we'll figure something out. Huh? We can fix this. All right. Great. Thank you, Taylor. You order a birdcage? Well. Before the town meeting, I stopped by Luke's, right? And he was furious. Taylor slapped him with a jungle gym fine. Smoke was pouring out of his ears. And I told him, don't worry, I am on my way to take Taylor down. Ooh, goody. <laughs> so I go to the town meeting. It's already started, right? And I uh, come in the back door with the squeaky track so everybody knows Lorelai's in the house. Mm, it's very exciting. And Taylor's up there yammering about septic tanks, and Patty made her raisin cake, and, you know, everything's just going along. And suddenly, Taylor says it's time to break. And I stand up on the bench, totally Norma Ray, and I write strike on my town meeting flyer, and I hold it up, all defiant. Wow! Of course, the Norma Ray reference was only in my head, and everyone was very confused. Yes, it happens a lot with you. So I marched up to the front of the room, and I looked this town in the eye, and I said, we, your Dragonfly Inn, are not on the map. We have been tossed off by Taylor Jungle Gym Monitor Dozy, and it is not right, and he must be stopped. And since no one had heard my conversation with Luke, I lost them again for a minute, but I got them back real quickly. You really need to work on that. Uh... Gotta talk. Anyhow, I told the town about how I had given them the best years of my life, and, and we've turned the Dragonfly into a Class A, top-notch destination inn, and, and that leaving us off the map was, was petty and mean-spirited and just plain bad business. Amen. Kiss the ground, the south will rise again. What happened then? Then I turned to Taylor, and I said, Taylor Dozy, if you don't put us back on the map, it will be Molly Ringwald giving her underwear to Anthony Michael Hall, and he shows it to a, a room full of boys who've all paid a dollar to see it. Oh, come on. No, that one he got. So he thought for a minute, and then he stood up, and he said to me, Lorelei, donate $100 to the Stars Hollow Historical Society, and I will let you back on the map, and you can keep Third Street. $100? That's nothing. What did you say? I said you got a deal. Oh, oh. thank God! <laughs> and then he said, good girl, and patted me on the head. Oh, no. Don't tell me. We are on Soares and Boyle's Alley. We cannot be on Soares and Boyle's Alley. Patted me on the head, Michelle, like a dog. It's only $100. I'll pay the hundred dollars. You're not paying the hundred dollars. I'll pay seventy-five dollars. Nope. No one is paying anything. We're not being extorted. We are the inn on Soares and Boyle's Alley. Historical. Proud. Oozing. Festering. Draining. Too many words for the brochure. 